Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket, the Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? The whole premise of this game is that... Yeah, in order to get out of my crappy ass job. I wish they used Wazda for the controls. I wonder if you can change. Damn it, didn't let you change the keyboard, eh? Wait, there it is. Sweet. Oh, that's better. The whole premise of the game is I want to get out. <laughs> I want to move out of my job, like upgrade to a better life or move on. But I can't do that until I do my community service and I need a big commission. And just like any retail store you might work in, your boss always tries to take your commissions from you or they give the better jobs to other people and try to keep you in the bottom type of thing. So, my dude is looking for the big cash payout and I think he's going to be spending like the rest of the game. Alright, I don't need examine and use or pick up, but inventory I guess. We'll have tab. He's going to be spending the whole game chasing down that gold man. Change active jaw object. Interesting. Skip dialogue. No, 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 no. Okay. That's a lot better. Looks like I got a message. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from. Office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. They added this thing, the point and click thing. Before this game, I don't think it had a point and click. It was just walking around in 3D space. 
But the weird thing about this little menu that they added is like these two almost do exactly the same. This is supposed to be pick up and this is just use. But they have the same context with the majority of items. Makes me wonder why it's even there at all. Remember in uh, Full Throttle, they combined everything to just, I think, two buttons? Oh, this is definitely like the... Full Throttle is another um, point-and-click adventure game. And it was like a deviation from the traditional uh, menu system. They tried a whole new thing where it was like the mouth was to talk, there was the eyes were to see, and then I think there'd be two hands or something like that. Because up until then, it was like a menu of nine different verbs that you would use to navigate and before then it was like 12 to 16 <laughs> verbs that you would use now they cut it down to just like two not portable okay here's Celso's file that walking stick was too good for him This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. It's a deck of cards. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. I like that you can actually see his jaw move in the shadow. Ooh, what's that? This is a weird little. I don't feel menu. like pitching cards right now. I don't remember this too much. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. You can... I guess that's just another way of examining the items I don't feel like pitching cards right now. Alright, let's get out of here. The game does not automatically save. Please save in the pause menu to avoid losing progress. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Uh, it's a shame that they couldn't get the old... Uh, they couldn't up the pre-rendered backgrounds. They didn't have the assets to that. This is a remastered version. The game's actually been stretched. I got to put it back in its normal. Where is it? Not like that. I guess you can do it. I'm not sure if the game has started. Guess not. It was an option before the game started. Other oh, special features. I can have it like this. This is the original look to the game. So here's like some invisible wall that it keeps stopping at. Oh, that's what it is. Every time I'm walking and I move my mouse, he stops. I can only do one at a time. I could either move him or move the mouse, but it doesn't let me do two. Alright. Well, that's what it used to look like. No. Now everything's so stretched and kind of blurry. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. I mean, move the mouse and hold shift. That's for running. Why would I... That's to run. What I'm saying is that when I'm moving with the WASD and then I move the mouse, it stops him. Like that. It doesn't let me move, like, examine things and walk at the same time. Is what I'm saying. I know about run. Domino's door is locked. Run's not my concern. Alright, let's flirt with the secretary, because that's our favorite thing to do. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? <laughs> why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? <clears throat> Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> In my heart, though, 
You're still my secretary. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? <laughs> Almost caught her on something else. She got a little nervous there. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Oof. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I wanna see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. <laughs> These dialogue choices can go on forever. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Nice. She's into me. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, Son of a bitch. tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really Aww. need, Bellissa. Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. My driver. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. <laughs> There's actually nothing, yes. No, but I like to hear the description of it, just for kicks. Yes. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land leave of the, the land. dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. <laughs> Goddamn, still so many options. No idea if I can... I don't even know how to go out. I don't know how the achievements are in this game, if it's something you go out of your way, or it's just something that you get automatically. If it's something I get automatically, then I would say yes. But no, I'm not going to be going out of my way for things I don't know. Well, enough about me. What's your job Well, like? enough about me. What's your job I can literally spend like? fucking like half an hour here. Except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But in one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Aww. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. <laughs> so what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Like, we might not see any uh, achievements pop up because I have 46% of the game already done in my first playthrough. So I already got like 16 achievements. I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere uh, right now? I forget. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, Aww. if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do oh, what we're you... done. That, that's the automatic Manny, finish. if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I Seems do like watch some more options though. All right, all right. Wait, can I touch something here, other than her? It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my Ava. boss's whipping boy, Manny. See that? See that, Carmen? Every time you freaking try to correct me on the gun, Eva, it's also Ava. <laughs> As a Latin-speaking person, that's just the way it's, it's my pronounced. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Eva is also a proper pronunciation of that three-letter word that Apex is butchering with their mispronunciation of it. You can touch the whole thing. You should tell the game they are saying it wrong. You should tell Apex they're saying it wrong. I got it right first try. Eva. It's my boss's secretary, Eva. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. No, I do not take uh, references from the English-speaking language. They are butchered. It is butchered language. None of it makes sense. The rules are up, up in the air. 
People can say whatever the hell they want. I went to the source, the Latin source, for the correct pronunciation of that word. Alright? Find me another country that says Eva, Eva, with that spelling, that isn't in America. But the source. Give me the source. It's a whole bunch. Australians. Nope. No, oh, yeah. Um, no. That's also another English-speaking place. <laughs> and even more butchered as they're a downgrade from fucking Britain. Not current Australians, but the original ones. Zero. Mind if I use your whole punch? Knock yourself out. <laughs> Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Do it again. Mind if I use your whole punch? Knock yourself out. What time is it in the game? One o'clock. That's it. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? The seconds don't don't move. Could I take your whole punch? Ha! I doubt you could take my half punch. Ooh. What the hell? Could I take your whole punch? Ha! I doubt you could take my half punch. I don't want to know what that means. That sounds hurtful. Alright. Titanic. Great day on work. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. And again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I... Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's so many things to look ah, at. Ah, the old head of the department. Way before my time, I heard he was a total slave driver. Yeah, right. How's it hanging? How's it hanging? Ah, the old head of the department. How's it hanging? Let's see, where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Let's see, where are Junior Sales Associates? It's attached pretty well. Let's see, where am I on this? Junior Sales Associates. Ooh, that better not be me. There she is, the number, number nine. nine. One of these days, I'm gonna ride her right on out of here. <laughs> Don't think so. There she is. The number nine. Now this guy. I don't know who this guy is. I think he just paid for the lobby renovation. Yeah, right. Good afternoon. So we respond. It's locked. To yes. Number six with extra dip. Okay. Wait, what? No, no, no more. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. We have a whole bunch of dead people to collect. Wait, I'm supposed to be going to the basement. Why am I out here? Yes. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Hm. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. Ah, there she is. Let's go into the alleyway for no reason at all. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. Hello? Not picking that up. Hello? Interesting. No? Alright. This is to go up to the, the window. I'm doing things the game hasn't even asked me to do yet. Don't know if I should jump the gun on some of these things. And hey, Corporal, how you doing? Yeah, this is like one of the few Lucas Arts games I never got to clear. There's a section I always got stumped on. I can't remember which one. Let's see if I can actually get through this game for once.
to all employees of the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions. Employees who have made their sales quotas are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. How clever. Not now, Eva. <laughs> I'll have to wait in the middle. I don't remember this from the first time. Ah, oh, I see. So all of his freaking automatic responses are like, nope. Just sign it yourself. Will you? I'm busy. There it is. I'm assuming that's what I need to do. Once again, I'm jumping the gun of whatever this puzzle's supposed to be. I wonder what happens if I choose this option and I'll go talk to her afterwards. Right. I'm gonna assume that's what I needed to do. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Black thing, what are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Could be the resolution I'm at. Doesn't bode no well. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. More junk I don't have time to look through. Like I said, it might be the resolution Memo my from settings the desk are. Of Don Copal. Hey! Work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. This place is a mess. I would so love to search Don's to office at. right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Just thinking about Don's file system gives me a cold All chill. Right. He keeps telling me to get out of here, so I'm gonna get out of here. I wonder if we can... Oh, can't come to the front. Oh, there's no front. Should be like a door on this side of the screen, but okay. Sure. Love the little uh, skeleton pigeons. Oh, it's another one though. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. No use for it. What's in here? Ah, uh -huh. there's nobody in Domino's office. Oh. Huh? Domino locks his window. Fear uh -huh. of pigeons, probably. Pair of pigeons, huh? Son of a bitch. Not picking that up. Ah, uh -huh. there's no right. domino locks at fear. Right, let's just try to get to the poisoning, because that's what the game wants me to do. Want to try not to do too much to, to that I ended up like losing track of what I'm supposed to do, because that's what happened last time. I didn't. I explored so much that I lost track of what I was supposed to originally do. I wish I was supposed to go in the basement. Oh, that's a creepy clown. It's in the barrel. Manny, Those where are you going? Those are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? They're just full of party favors. And I'm not in the... I don't need the hernia. Looks like some sort of crafty money. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. I love that guy's voice. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? <laughs> Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Robert Frost? Is he dead? Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! I could have sworn he was still writing books. Nice. I got Robert Frost. <laughs> Alright. Some of my finest work, don't you think, Sparky? 
Oh, let's put that away. Well, I hope it's not one of those games where they give you so many items that a lot of them you don't even need. That they overcome, that you get just a whole fucking thing of items that are useless. Hey, marbles. Look, a mod. It's amazing. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome is really, really acting, acting up. up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? I love how your mental age just matches Sonic when you come in Marvel and you see him. Teach me how to do that. Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is blow. Blow. <laughs> I can make a snake with those wounds. Bang! Ah. Pop another one. Lousy bony fingers. What the hell was the point of that? Just to make him blow it up? My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? But you can't do rubber frost again. A dead worm. A dead worm. Nice. Dead worm. Heck, that's easy. Yep, yeah, just a flaccid balloon. There's no limit on those. What's this? This is what they would call a point-and-click adventure game. Perun. One of LucasArts last point-and-click adventure games before they went defunct. This is Grim Fandango. One of the few, if not only, LucasArts adventure game I never cleared. So I can't do anything there. Alright, so I gotta find this elevator. Which I'm pretty sure exists. No. Shadow, do not tell me what to do in the game. Do not say anything at all about what to do in this game. Are for. LucasArts made this? Huh. The end of LucasArts. A lot of the key people from LucasArts uh, were already gone. And the LucasArts Adventure division was separate from the Star Wars LucasArts division, right? So LucasArts had a whole bunch of people that worked on specific... Star Wars games, but those people were nothing like the ones that worked on the adventure ones. That was a very unique little group. <clears throat> one of them is called Double Fine now. If you ever heard of Double Fine, that's what became of one of the former LucasArts people. You planning on getting Neo at some point then? I was playing it earlier today. Did you not read my message last night? <laughs> yeah, I was playing Neo this morning. And... Quite frankly, I would I want to play Neo now, but I figure this is more timely. This makes more sense. Damn, it won't let me go to the basement. Oh, there it is. Go. I took the wrong elevator. Jesus Christ! Two elevators, and I took the wrong one. All right, Sonic, you can tell me what to do as long as it's not a puzzle in the game. Like, you can ask me to do silly things in this, like talk to someone or whatnot, or ask for another worm. Just try not to tell me anything that might ruin a puzzle. That's all I'm, all I'm saying. So I, I would have taken another worm, but I just don't know if that's like a puzzle or not. I beat the boss I got stuck on, just got stuck on the next boss. Only this time the difficulty comes from lag. Because there's rain on the map and my laptop struggles with rain. Well, that's sad. Um... Here's what I need. We All right, Prune. My, st I'm doing a little bit better today, but the past two days, my stomach has been shit, and with that, a lot of shit has come from it. So, I don't know. I think it's a combination of spicy, of uh, hot sauce and coffee, has really fucked up my stomach. I've been in pain all night. Funny enough, I'm drinking coffee right now to calm my stomach. Just weird. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. 
It's the point where I feel like my st insides are freaking falling apart, marbles. Where my insides have melted. And I'm shitting it out. It's Ooh, been I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Try the liver medicine. It worked for me. That's way too vague. What, you eat a lot of... You drink a lot of coffee and eat a lot of hot sauce? Sonic? This is one of my favorite characters. Uh, coming up. He's such a big, lovable guy. Who's afraid of a little rusty water? And you got a recipe for a nuclear bomb? Yeah. It's a good thing I stay away from the beans. It's a tool cabinet. It's locked. Hey, who's better with my stuff? <laughs> oh, what? Sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. I'm Calavera. Manny, Manny Calavera. Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? <laughs> what a bastard. Sent my driver home early so I couldn't get to the poisoning quick enough. Yeah, for those coming in now, my current mission in the game is there was a poisoning, a, a group poisoning, and I gotta go collect some bodies. I'm a Grim Reaper um, salesman, right? And just like a real, a realtor, except I'm a realtor for the dead, as in I offer them a better life based on their previous life. And but we gotta collect the bodies first, and we make commissions off those bodies. And so my upper boss is always trying to fuck me over. Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh no! My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire! To drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. <laughs> if you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, like a familiar I'll get sick guy. and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. A self-aware familiar. That's funny. Hmm. Can't imagine. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. <laughs> yes, you do. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. This guy is so fun. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, me? Oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. I love his voice. Come on, Glatis. I need you to be my driver. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. Too big. You're not too big. You're just right. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. You're not too big. Your car is just too small. <laughs> okay, see you later, chicken. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I yeah, could Sonic. alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. Nope, I'll I could get it. lose my job. A work order? Huh? I already have it yeah, set up. Yeah, yeah. I can't I did torch this anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. 
getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> Badass. Yeah. A lot of the achievements, Sonic, is just doing what, uh, progressing the game. They're not like going out of your way to find secret achievements. Most of them in this game are just progression. That's it. It's things you're naturally gonna get anyways. You don't have to worry about me missing achievements because the game just gives them to you if you do the right thing. Really, is there something that it's locked? You have to go out of your way to find. That won't help it get signed. I want to hole punch something. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Oh, yes. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Mm. I would have liked to see an updated version of the art style. Like if they redid the, the 3D models. But yeah, the art style is cool. Very different from the other adventure games too. Other than the fact that it's in 3D. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Why she gotta be like that, yo? Alright, so let's my just... Sight. Um, I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Not here. No? He's too shy to bring out his sights in front of a woman. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's oh, see some hustle. I got the wrong note. That's not the Whatever right one. Whatever you say, Iffy. Not that. Not that. Not that. Wait. I've got to get this work order signed. Sorry, the sound Good effects. Boy. They were getting I've me. I've got to get this work order signed. I've got to get this work order signed. All right, baby doll. I've got to get this work order signed. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Ava. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. It's noon for you, Carmen. It's freaking noon. <laughs> what is this evening? Yeah, I um, what you didn't see is that I already did that puzzle. I was supposed to go into the guy's uh, um office and change the options. I did that before I even activated the puzzle. Hey, that's what you did I not look see. Good in this, don't I? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah well, noon is like twelve to one. They say black is slimming. Evening? That would be after four or five. Until then, it's just the afternoon. Show me the rules? It is the rules. Twelve to four is afternoon. Five to ten is evening. I would say six to ten is evening. After ten, it's night. Or nine after it's night. You gotta fit an afternoon somewhere. <laughs> That's how humans look. <laughs> They're so creepy. Domino. Evening six to nine. That's about the right. I don't know. I would say five is about evening. I like to think there's four hour intervals between each uh, section. Oh, you googled it? No, I. Who the fuck made that rule up? 69. And so the night only lasts for three hours until it's morning then. 
10, 11, 12, and then boom, it's morning. I never forgot night was a thing. So, you gotta love these humans. Look at these poor saps. Yeah, I only played like 10 minutes of Neo Marvels. So I didn't really go anywhere except fight a bunch of soldiers in a place. I got to the part where there was rain outside and that's it. I was playing it this morning for 10 minutes. Though one thing I wanted, I was wondering is like, are the items random in the beginning of the game? Or is it the exact same weapons every time? The bastard blade, the spear, and the axe. <laughs> it's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. He freaked out. <laughs> Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. <laughs> if I scare them to death, then they'll become a customer. But I'll get nailed with a conflict of interest rap. I've actually never seen this dialogue tree. Psst, it's me, Death. I'll see you soon, okay? Oh, wait, so loot is not randomized in Neo? Just the stats of the loot. That's one thing I was wondering, like, it's gonna be the same loot no matter how many times I play the game? I know you can't hear me, but try to feel what I'm about to say deep down in your soul. Don't eat the gazpacho. <laughs> what the fuck? Eh, fun's fun, but I've got work to do. It is randomized. The weapons? Okay. Just not in the big specific locations. Eh, fun's fun, but I've got work to do. Weird. Weird. <laughs> Holy fuck, eh, her face. Fun's fun, but I've got work to do. Smiles as bright and wide as the blade on my scythe. Soon I'll be coming for them. Eh, fun's fun, but I've got work to do. Did I look like that when I was alive? Did I look like that when I was alive? Did I look like that when I was alive? Her hand is so huge over there. Let's check out this food. Ooh, what do we got here? I have to say, this food looks pretty good. That's oh, that's kind of weird about Neo. At least Neo one. I have to say, this food looks pretty good. In this world, all I can do is look smell and reap oh that's a tease in this world all i can do is look i can't reap hamburger cows or a whole other bureau not to mention the lettuce i can't reap hamburger cows or a whole like other that. bureau not to mention What's the this lettuce. over here truth be told i'd rather be setting this milkshake soul free can't reap the milkshake can only smell it mm, smells like the perfect client rich and sweet I didn't know milkshakes had a smell. Mmm, smells like the perfect client. I suppose if you put your nose close enough. Sweet. Like right in it. This is my body. Bound only by the paper thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. Wow, what a description. I can't carry the whole pack. He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. I can't use my bare hands. I'm yeah, a I know professional. What I need yeah, just in case, Sonic, you want to jump in and tell me that I need to use the blade, I'll, I'm going to exhaust all my options first before doing the obvious thing. As someone who's been half, through half of this game twice already. Hey, buddy. Nice bathrobe. What? You called my cloak a bathrobe? That motherfucker. But we offer several travel package upgrades if you'd care to cut the yeah. I want Where'd you get that suit? Where I could get some rest. Now that's it. Ay ay ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah yeah. 
whatever. Oh, yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, do blowers, pop it out of the hood. Oh, yeah. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait. Bora. Uh, can't you find me something <laughs> where wah, I can wah, move wah. my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I ought to... Yep, that's about right. So live a good life, folks, or else that's Sick it for you. Sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Oh shit. Hey baby, can I hole punch you? Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, does Can I take your hole punch? Ha! <laughs> I doubt you could take my half punch. Mm. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Ooh, what's in here? This ass wipe. Um, let's see if he notices me at all while I just, you know, walk into his office nonchalant. Maybe take his liquor. Yeah, don't mind me. Just helping myself, apparently. It'd be funny if he actually sees like his pants get wet. It's like, wh what's containing all this liquid? Wh where's it going? How many times can I fucking pour this? And one more for the road. That's some premium looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Oof. All right. Can I, can I finish the bottle? That'd be cool. I like the mosaic of the skeleton chicken, the pigeon on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna look through hey, your stuff. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. What, what are you gonna do about it? It's Domino Hurley. The sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat the cell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? He's acting like I just came in. Hey, we really had, we just spoke twice to each other. So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. Mm -hmm. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. <laughs> say, how'd you score? I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. <laughs> I want to punch you in the mouth. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party <laughs> all over again. <laughs> not the Christmas party all over. 
<laughs> yeah, she's wearing a mouth guard while doing the speed bag. The punching pit. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Hey, he doesn't have any gums to freaking hold his teeth in place. If that bag were to freaking slip and hit him in the face, there goes all his teeth. I don't blame the guy for holding it down. He's just a bag of bones. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. I don't know how to hate this guy. He seems pretty cool, even though he's stealing all my clients. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> you know, this <coughs> used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. Ooh. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. <laughs> I love the one-liners. I couldn't team up with someone who's more manly than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up the boss? So much with no lips. Can I have one of your clients? Where do you get all the good clients? Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I Ooh. get it from you. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No, thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Always a pleasure, Cal. All right, let's see if there's anything in my office worth checking out. No. <laughs> Why the hell did he just turn around and look at us? Nothing here? No? My message tube is full of nothing. As usual. As usual. Right. Not portable. Come on. My I can... computer gives me instant access there to our go. database of deadbeats. Anything worth looking at? I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. That's it? Hmm. I need to do something new then. What do I have on me? Got my scythe. No, please. Got a pack of cards. A little balloon. Not sure what to do with it. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. Anything like Robert Frost. Huh. Now, time to figure out what the hell to do. Uh, baby, how you doing? Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. I can't find my driver. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Yeah. Mm hmm. Guess I'll go back down and talk to Blotto. Yeah, I don't know if I missed the game telling me what to do next. You guys heard it?
I have a few ideas, but it's locked. This sign says, I'm at the junkyard. No one in there. Not when there's a door. Not picking that up. Not picking that up. It's locked. It's a tool cabinet. That it is. Who's afraid of a little rusty water? Sounds healthy. Not picking that up. Alright, so that was useless. I know you can get into Manny's room window from upstairs, but... Ooh, maybe I have to unlock it first. I'm gonna go back to... Not Manny, uh, Domino's room. Hey, baby. Let's see if I can unlock his window. I don't even know if I can see his window. Oh, there it is. Uh, no, there's nothing I can do. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. <laughs> well, I was gonna steal something. Not picking that up. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Hmm. One for the road. I wonder if I can reap him. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. No. <laughs> no. It's a deflated balloon. That's not what balloons are for. Alright. I don't got the lungs for it. Literally. Mm. This doesn't look like anything like Frost. Robert Frost. Did you just wave the balloon at him? So childlike. Like my balloon. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can sneak in from outside. <laughs> Game is not giving me any clues right now that I'm aware of what I'm supposed to do. Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Okay. I'm assuming you left that door open. Uh huh. Don't mind if I do. Oh, um, sure. Just because it doesn't look like it's part of the wall, I'll take it. That's not on fire. I can't reach. That red tube looks familiar. Wheelchair open it. Fucking music's louder than him. Where's the music? Yeah. Hmm. That wheelchair open it. Not picking that up. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. That's not on fire. No. Hmm. Well, I know he doesn't like people throwing stuff in that. Red one looks I familiar. I think that's the other end of Domino's message ah, tube. Well, there you I go. Just get in there. That red tube looks familiar. Hmm. Can't do anything else. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. I wonder if I have something that I can put in my tube. That red tube looks... Can't reach. 
Can't do anything with the fans. No, can't touch the door. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing else in this room that I'm aware of. <clears throat> Alright. I got a fire extinguisher, and that door does not open. Hey, this is open. Sweet. Ooh, I remember this. What can I do with this? Oh, maybe I can fill a balloon with it. What are the odds? For those who enjoy no hassle travel. Bruno, you and one of these must have picked them up already. I don't need the hernia. Let's just see what happens. I put a little balloon. Yes, you. At the end of one of these. Oh yeah, baby. Fill her up. Ooh. How about... No? You're just gonna put it right in? You're not even gonna use the other one? Ugh, that smell. I picked that up? Huh. Oh. No. He just he just knocks it right off. I'm done with you. Let me try the pickup button this time, see if there's any difference. It's a lump of our packing foam. No thanks. That stuff smells terrible, man. Alright, so I have a cylindrical tube of sorts now. I would assume it's mushy because I only filled in one part of the side of it. This balloon is filled with a light chemical. Wait, with a light chemical? Is it different, I wonder? Depending on which tube you use? I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. I'm not even asking you to do anything. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. No. One of the chemicals for our packing material do. comes out of there. Alright. So... The only tube available to me is my own, but that would mean I would get in trouble if I put it in there. Huh? We'll see. Unless Manny? Oh, Domino's still there. Let's go in here. Let's check out our tube. And let's break it. Aha. Aha. Just shove it right in there. <laughs> Look out below. Hmm. I wonder if I need the second chemical now. Yeah, I need a second chemical compound. I fucked that up. Which means I need to go out and get another balloon. That's why Sonic was telling me to ask for another one. Yeah. Which I said, don't. I don't understand the purpose of the game. It's a point-and-click adventure game. Hey, cooked, cooked up machine. How are you? Um, I don't know if you have an experience with point-and-click adventure games. They s give you a set of challenges, and you have to overcome the challenges by completing puzzles. Everything is very obscure. You, the basis of every point-and-click adventure game is that. Uh, you go through dialogue trees, you find items, and you use- The dialogue trees will give you clues to what you gotta do. And you gotta find items. And with the items, you can find more clues if you ask people about it. And eventually you gotta use those items to complete the puzzle to move on. That is the game loop. Dialogue for clues, items for puzzles. Once you complete the puzzle, you do it over again in the next section. But the main, um, like, the things that make these games really good is the dialogue, right? It's like, um, the developers, when they make these type of games, they tend to put as much comedy into the dialogue as they possibly can and try to expand the uh, dialogue trees as much as it makes sense. 
And that's where the real gem of these games are. It's just listening to the characters interact and finding like little unique dialogue trees with things you do. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? If you were ever to give one of these games a go, I would say Dave the Tentacle is my favorite. I love the Monkey Island series. Sam and Max, the original, is really great. But Dave the Tentacle was probably my favorite of them all. It's so good. Okay, a cat. A dingo. Um, yeah. Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Alright, put that away. Let's see if I, how much more I can get out of him. I wonder if I have a button for putting things away Looks instead like some of, sort of crafty mind. what I'm doing. My kid, uh, one. Ah, gee. Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. It just gives me an infinite number of them. Alright. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. My kid, ah, uh, a dingo. A dingo? That's my specialty. Oh shit, where do those teeth come from? Alright, put that away. And my let's get the last died. balloon, I guess. Oh, can I have another, I have dingo? another dingo, please? Hey, did you lose the one I gave you? No. Well, then just enjoy it for a while longer, alright? <laughs> okay, a cat. Okay. A cat. No problem. Let's see this magic. Yeah, that's a cat. Ta da! Well done. Well done. <laughs> Look at me shake the cat. Run, Manny Calavera. Maybe the secretary will, will like my pussy. <laughs> He's really shaking the freaking cat at the door. No. Let's see what she thinks about my little kitty. Is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. <laughs> Kitty. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. She doesn't care. Sad Oh, you have to go all the way goddamn down. Fill it up with the red stuff. Come all the way back up. Alright, back in the old games, if you double clicked on the like distance, it would just skip to it. It wouldn't fucking put you through the uh, paces of actually seeing the character run to the other side. That or they'd be really super fast. Yeah, double clicking usually would just skip to that scene. Nope, wrong way. Wait the elevator close before I can continue. We're almost there. There we go. Pull it out. There she is. Just shove it in. There we go. That doesn't sound good. That sounds just fine. I'm not quite sure what reaction that caused. 
Maybe the door's been busted open. Can't really know until you can go all the way down. down. Again. What else is new? Maybe she can give me something. Manny, if you don't mind, okay. I'm right. never mind. I do watch you. Let's go back to that room. Maybe something new has developed. Oh. No, can't move in. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. You're saying the server's down, is that it? Can I squeeze in there for just a sec? Who would do such a terrible thing like Who this? Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. <sighs> Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? <laughs> Through the door, just like you. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. It's a big ass. It's a big ass to cover. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who right, ain't so me. I need a, to get a reason to get him out of there. What's so special about you? One of my balloon Ice, animals have anything to do with it. an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Say, uh, Chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Just... Oh, not again. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. I guess I know what to do. So that's why I was able to put the compound on the table. Huh? What the hell did he just take? For government work. No! Don't close the door! I wasn't done! Oh, shit, I really hope I don't have to do everything all the way from the beginning again. Like the packing material and all that in this room, and then. Shilly shilly. One of my favorite things. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this on fire here, but. Fuck. I think I need that room open first. Alright, just to cover my ass so I don't have to do it all over again. I'm gonna fucking get the balloons, fill them with the stuff, fuck up the room, and then I'm gonna burn that stuff on the table. So since this guy gives me infinite balloons... Good enough for the government to work. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Hey man. My kid, uh... Ah, jeez, what now? This guy sounds like fucking J uh, Jack Nicholson. Do you have any more dead Welsh? I think I already have one on me, so I don't need to ask for one more. Let me see. One. Two. There we go. That's all I need. For anyone wondering... This is what a cat looks like. Just an update. 
just in case anyone forgot, this is actually a cat and not a dead animal. Dora, you don't need to see what's going on in the game right now. It's just monotonous work of me going, oh my god, went the wrong way too. You get a little kitty while I do the monotonous work. This is part of a cat. I'm just getting out the balloons and uh, doing my thing. Alright, so I'll fill up the blue. That's one down. And where's the next? And there it is. To be cam worthy, you gotta give them a bed in the room you're in. That's it. Once you give them a bed that they like to chill in, you put a camera over it. I'm like the only streamer I think that manually moves the camera around. Most people just have like a preset spot with the camera where the cat might go. I'm like the only streamer who actually manually moves that shit around. Yeah, if anyone's coming in wondering, hey, what about the gameplay? This is monotonous what I'm doing right now. It's literally what people just saw me do. I just have to do it again in the right order. Slip it in. That's one. The other one. There's the other one. That's two. Now let's go start a fire. Can I skip the next scene? Yeah. We don't need to see it twice. Can you even tell that's a cat when it's in like the small window on the bottom of the screen? Again. What else is new? Alright. Let's start a party the only way I know how. Hello, pile of gunk on the table. How conspicuous of you being there. Whatever could I do with such a pile? That's not on fire. Son of a bitch! What do you mean that's not on fire? I thought it fucking burns it anyway. You sticking to this game today? Yeah. Yeah. This will be my game all day. Damn it. I don't have anything that can put it on fire, do I? Um, not here. Damn it! Crap! I don't want to fucking do this all over again if I don't get it right. How would I set this on fire then? I thought it was automatic. Mm. Gonna be a lot of work to have to do this all Warning. over again. Fire system, do not touch. That's not on fire. That's not on fire. That's not on fire. That's one deep pocket, though. <laughs> That's my favorite part of point and click adventure games. They're endless pockets. Just see the amount of stuff you can keep in one's pocket. Huh. Well, that sucks. Bananas. Could have sworn putting it on there would have been the perfect result. So it's a puzzle game. Oh yeah. Thought you had a lighter. You used to light the sec secretary sick. Huh. Definitely not in my persons. 